D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So coming at you today with this story. Um, I wanted to talk about this on my Sunday video, but I picked other stories and I wanted to pick because they all fit like a Marvel mode. Uh, but this one didn't. But I did want to talk about it because I'm very interested in, the, in this in for two reasons. Um, one, because it's a Bruce Lee movie and I love Bruce Lee. I love all those Bruce Lee movies. If you have not watched a Bruce Lee movie, you go watch them. They are so good. You will love them. That man was, I don't know, he was uh, just a work of art with his movements and stuff. Anyways, and the scripts, I personally think that the scripts are pretty good. Second, it has to do with Ang Lee and his son. Um, I'm going to read this a little bit because I do have thoughts on this. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so this comes from Deadline, my favorite. Uh, but it says, Ang Lee taps son Mason Lee to play martial arts legend Bruce Lee in Epic at Sony's 3000 Pictures. Now, this right here is, this is Bruce Lee and this is Mason Lee. Uh, they are not related from what, I, from what I know, but they are not related. So it says, Sony's 3000 Pictures has finalized a deal uh, that will see Oscar winner Ang Lee. Also, I like Ang Lee. I think he's really talented. Um... Yeah, he's just really good. I mean, his Hulk movie wasn't, you know, his Hulk movie wasn't that bad. Like, I know a lot of people say they don't like the comic book like thing that he did, but I personally, I liked it, you know, but that's just me. Hey, different strokes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways, okay, it says, uh, Ang Lee direct Bruce Lee, a film that will star the filmmaker's son, Mason Lee, in the role of the iconic martial art, uh, martial artist, uh, Dan Futterman, well, whose work includes Capote, love that movie, Foxcatcher, not as great, uh, is working on a script that has seen previous versions by Gene Castelli, Alex Law, and Mabel uh, Chun, Chung, and most recently, Wells Tower. Now, um, <clears throat> let me read the rest of this, and I, I really do have thoughts on this, but um, I just want to, to discuss this article because it's not very long. Uh, Lawrence Gray, Sharon, da 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 da, Ang Lee, Ben, all these people producing. We don't need to go into that. Uh, uh, Pavia and Tom Rothman uh, reunite with the director after they worked together previously on Life of Pi. I love Life of Pi. Uh, it's a very good movie. If you haven't seen it, I say go watch it. It's very good. Um, you know, uh, yeah. Okay, so. It says, the director who left his stamp on the martial arts genre with best foreign film Oscar winner Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, love that movie, in 2000, it remains the highest grossing international film in the U.S. It's very good. I love that movie. I still love that movie. With all the flying and the magic. Has long waited to delve into the making of the legend tale. Uh, Lee came to, uh, to U.S., and became an accomplished teacher to actors like Steve McQueen and many others. He approached it like a scientist, mixing and matching the best qualities of all kinds of styles that he uh, melded into Jeet Kune Do. I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. I don't do the martial arts. Uh, but it's very cool. I love the martial arts. I like watching it and stuff. Anyways, while the handsome and uh, affable Lee became one of the first Chinese-American actors to crack primetime television when he played the sidekick Kato in The Green Hornet, um, those the, the, I've watched a couple of those episodes. It's not my jam, but at the same time, it's not bad. You know, I love the, bat, the 60s Batman, so I got into it. It was just, I, I didn't get into it as much as I like did like Batman. Anyways. Much of his early early career was marked by the frustrations he endured as a trailblazer who was not connected to be uh, uh, content to be a sidekick. The setbacks included when white actor David uh, Carradine, I don't know how to say his name, was tapped to play the Chinese monk in Kung Fu over Lee in 1972. That is a that is pretty bad. I mean, that was, you know, um, you know, standard back then, they would just pick white people to play Asian people. And you're just like, why? Why? And it was because, you know, uh, racism. I mean, that's we got to call it out for what it was. And that sucks. I, I mean, I can't, you know, but it, there's only that's like, just because you're a good actor doesn't mean you should be playing an Asian person. That's so weird, you know? Um, 
Uh, especially if, especially if the the character is Asian, you know, you shouldn't be. You, yeah, it's it's it, uh, race bending it doesn't work out. Anyways, uh, said by said by some of uh, to have originated the concept because TV execs felt audiences were ready for a series led by an Asian actor. Lee found global success in a series of widely successful Hong Kong films. He was on the cusp of a remarkable U.S. market breakthrough with Enter the Dragon, dying suddenly at 32 just before the film was released in 1973, which is, is it sucks, you know. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, accepted as neither fully American nor fully Chinese, Bruce Lee, which sucks, man. Uh, Bruce Lee was a bridge between East and West who introduced Chinese Kung Fu to the world. A scientist of combat and an iconic performing artist who revolutionized both the martial arts and action cinema, Ang Lee told Deadline, I feel compelled to tell the story of this brilliant, unique human being who earned the belonging possessed, uh, the belonging, the possessed uh, tremendous power in a 135 frame, 35 pound frame. He's only 135 pounds. I'm so jealous. Um, and who, through timeless or tireless hard work, made impossible dreams into reality. So true. I love Bruce Lee. He's great. Lee has been working quietly on this for a long time, and that includes getting his son ready for action. All right, this is where I want to talk about right here. Hold on. I need some coffee to get pumped. Anyways, Mason Lee has been training for his for this role in Asia the past three years, all through lockdown. Lee is 32, and he has appeared in Billy Lynn's long uh, halftime walk, The Hangover Part 2. Oh, yeah, he was in that. And most recently, he starred in the Taiwanese romantic comedy Stand By Me, the Hong Kong drama Limbo, and Who Killed uh, Cock Robin. Ooh. <laughs> uh, he, he was nominated for the Golden Horse Award for Best Supporting Actor for both films. Bruce Lee is a long. Okay, I want to talk about this. Uh, no, no, I don't. We were. We just have this one thing. I'm not going to go over who there's represent. Who's repping them? You don't care about that crap. I don't care about that crap. Anyways, Bruce Lee is a longtime passion project for Aang and a deeply emotional story uh, depicting the triumphs and conflicts of one of the foremost real life action heroes of our time. I couldn't agree more. Bruce Lee is iconic. I can't wait to, I have two little ones. My daughter, I know she won't be interested in it because, uh, although she might, we always, we always play fight and everything, but my kids, they're so, they're all like, you want to fight and everything. And I'm all like, I'm like, I don't fight. I take down bitches, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I uh and then i get yelled at by my wife anyways okay um let's see i lost my okay uh uh gabler said all of us at sony and 3000 pictures are proud to help ang and his filmmaking team create what we believe will be an extraordinary theatrical event um i have to say i do have okay two things one i have faith in ang lee of making a good movie with this i do think that ang lee is very talented um, you know, he's had some hits and then he's had some not so great hits, you know, I mean, and that's all, you know, subjective because I know people that don't like the movie, The Life of Pi. And I'm all like, I love that movie. It's so good. And then Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I know other people that don't like that movie and I don't understand them. I understand if they don't like the Hulk. I get it. I totally get it. It was ridiculous. You've got mutant poodles and stuff. It's just ridiculous. But at the same time, me, I when I watch it, I just go, listen, is it good? No, but is it fun? Yeah, but I have a fee. Every time I describe a movie as fun, I'm like, mm, it's probably a bad movie then. Okay, so now I want to get to the fact that he has cast his son, Mason Lee. I do not like nepotism, not one bit. I mean, yeah, he kind of, he looks like Bruce Lee in this picture, but so, so. I don't like nepotism. I think that if you, I mean, this is the thing. How can we go, like, I know, I know everybody wants to bitch and moan about the hire the best person for the job. But how can I go, Mason Lee is the best person for the job when he's your son? You have a clear bias when you're casting this because you want your son to succeed. And I get that. I get that. I want my children to succeed. And if I can help them out in any way, shape, or form, I will do that. But I feel like he's taking the opportunity from someone that could be better. Because I'm sorry, Mason Lee, like, I barely remember him in The Hangover too. But then again, it's been like years since I watched that movie. But... 
I just go, he's relatively new and you can't, you, I'm, I, I just go it, it, nepotism. I don't, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Uh, you know, but I get the same time. I get it. I totally get it. Um, it just, it's just frustrating because, you know, you're taking opportunities from, you know, maybe an unknown that could be recognized and then get their stardom to give your son who has had opportunity because of his father. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, let's see how this works out and everything. I'm curious to see, I'm going to watch this movie just because I like Bruce Lee uh, and I like those Bruce Lee movies. Those Kung Fu movies are so good. Um, and I suggest you go watch some of them. That Enter the Dragon is very good. Um, all right, you guys, uh, that is going to, that's going to wrap it up for this video. But tell me, what do you guys think about this uh, story? Do you like this idea of Ang Lee making a Bruce Lee movie? How do you feel about Mason Lee doing it? How do you feel about Ang Lee's movies? Do you like his movies? Do you not like his movies? Have you seen any of the movies that they had mentioned from uh, before uh, that he won awards for? uh mason lee uh did you see them and did you like them tell me what you guys think about all of this go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below if you like this video go and hit that like button you know i won't mind if you do my channel please hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it and we'll see you guys on my next uh video you guys have a good day bye <laughs>